Good afternoon, everybody. Christine Barconi here in the NBC4I Streaming Center, joined by Representative Bird from the Cincinnati area. So about exactly a year ago, it was April 13th, I went back and watched the story and re-watched and relearned about this special license plate that is coming to Ohio. I would call it divisive. However, I listened to your speech then and I listened to it again this morning as I was preparing for the interview and I don't think it is. So tell us about this Alabama license plate. Well, thank you. Appreciate Christine the opportunity to be with you today and I'm very thankful to uh, to be able to have legislation like this in Ohio and to have colleagues that are willing to listen and uh, consider views that uh, that you just said might be divisive. And so, you know, I would remind you and your audience that this is not the first out of state license plate bill. Ohio already has the University of Notre Dame license plate. And along with the legislation where the University of Alabama license plate was signed, it also included the University of Marshall or Marshall University. And so, you know, there are several states around America where they have all kinds of license plates and they just do them all uh, from other states. So it, it, uh, I know that this is a little bit divisive just because there's been such a distinct and sharp rivalry between Ohio State and the University of Alabama on the gridiron. And, uh, and so, you know, I, I brought this forward because uh, as you mentioned, uh, my father was a member of the 1964 Alabama National Championship team. And so, you know, I, I, I have great pride in my dad, and, and he is a member of the Ohio High School Football Coaches Association Hall of Fame. And uh, he is a legend in south, southwestern Ohio as far as uh, being a high school football coach for a long, long time. And, and so, you know, I wanted to, uh, to certainly recognize him. But, you know, there are many, many people – uh, there are many alumni here in the Cincinnati area of the University of Alabama. There is a organization called Crimsonati, which <laughs> is a, an alumni association of people who have graduated from the University of Alabama that live in the Cincinnati area. Interesting. Okay. So I, I want you to tell us more about your dad because that's really what roped me in. So I... Uh, back whenever he was in eighth grade, you said um, when you introduced this, him winning the national championship with Joe Namath and Bear Bryant all started with him getting lost on the way to band tryouts. Tell everybody more about that. Sure, that's uh, that's a funny but true story. And uh, so his mom wasn't a big fan of him playing football, and she did say that you could uh, you could be in the band and you can take the family instrument to school. And so he got lost on the way to the band room after school and somehow uh, got lost and found his way into the coach's office in the locker room, the boys' locker room area, and asked for directions. And they said, well, actually, you should stay here and, and join the football team. And so he ended up being a, a, obviously a very good player for Holmes High School, which is a high school in, in northern Kentucky. And, and so his football coach was good friends with – uh, Paul Bear Bryant, who was the coach at the University of Kentucky at the time. Oh. And so uh, many people don't know that Paul Bear Bryant also had a distinguished career at the University of Kentucky and at Texas A&M. And so when he left the University of Kentucky to go to the University of Alabama, he obviously took those connections, his recruiting list, the people that he would have brought to the University of Kentucky and took it with him to the University of Alabama. And, and that's how my dad ended up going down there. So does that have anything to do with the Cincinnati Alabama connection at all with him recruiting people maybe from that area as well as Kentucky or is that kind of a reach? I think yeah that, that's that's a separate issue. Okay. But but you know but but again I, I bring up that I, southern Ohio, southwestern Ohio, the Cincinnati area, northern Kentucky uh, certainly has a lot of Alabama alumni and you know Cincinnati as I'm sure you're aware is a weird place anyway because we can't even decide who to root for. You know, there's, a, there's some of us that root for Cin University of Cincinnati, some root for Indiana University, Ohio State, uh, IU, Nor um, UK, 
uh, Notre Dame, Miami University, don't forget them. Okay. And so we have, we are very fractured in our, oh, and I forgot Xavier University. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we have a very fractured allegiance in, in Southwestern Ohio because we have so many choices on who to root for. Interesting. Okay. Um, so basically tell us, um, you know, how people can get the plate, you know, they're going to pay a little bit extra, but where does that money go towards? Great. Thanks so much. And, and so here's another thing to remember that they, there, there's a, uh, there's an O, um, O dot rule that they're not going to start printing these plates until they get uh, a certain number that requests them. Uh. They're not going to print one plate. Okay. <laughs> They need, and I don't remember the number exactly. It might be 200, it might be 250. They have, a, they have a minimum number of plates that have to be ordered before they start printing these. Are you gonna get one? I, probably not. <laughs> probably not, but my mom and dad might. And so, but I'm not a University of Alabama alumni and yeah. my dad is. And so, you know, the, the money that the extra money that the person who purchases this plate um, goes, that, that, that money goes to support a scholarship um, for an Ohio student to attend the University of Alabama. And actually, my niece is a University of Alabama um, uh, student right now. And, you know, what I hear is the University of Alabama that we might all, all think about that it is, uh, you know, mostly... Uh, kids from the South. That is totally not true, according to my niece. And they are from all over the uh, Northern and Northeastern uh, America. And they've got kids coming from all over. So they're, they're definitely, and, and I would say that's probably true of Ohio State too. They're, they have a wide reach. They have a big brand market name that kids want to be associated with. I mean, Ohio State, they're attracting people from around the world. And the same thing is true for Alabama. And uh, they both have tremendous uh, name recognition and kids want to be associated with that. And so that, that's true of Alabama, it's true of Ohio State. And so this bill would just generate a little bit extra revenue to, to provide some scholarship money for a student who wants to go to Alabama from the state of Ohio. Okay, most importantly, I wanna know how your father reacted whenever you told him the, uh, the news. He said, are you sure you wanna do that? You're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> So uh, he was worried that everybody would be mad at me, uh, but certainly he and mom are, my, you know, my mom is the one who's really excited and she's the one who's a really big Alabama fan. And, uh, and so they're both in their eighties. They both get fired up for every home game, not just home game. They're watching it on their screen. And, and uh, you know, as of a couple of years ago, they would still try to get to a, a home Alabama game every once in a while. And dad was still involved with the, uh, the football alumni association and so you know they're, they're big fans they're big supporters and and mom especially you know she she uh, gets really upset when they lose and she gets really happy when they win well that's really exciting um so happy for you um i want to hate it i can't hate it like I, i'm an ohio state alum trust me and especially whenever you gave your speech in april of last year that was still a big open wound um from the national championship loss so um yeah. but i think this is a really cool really awesome way to honor um your parents and um good way to get scholarship money for students who i guess choose to go to alabama over ohio state Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, it's great that we Lane live in a country thick. that has multiple institutions. Yes. And, and, you know, interestingly enough, the the uh, the 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 discord that you describe here in the state reverberates in my own family. OK, <laughs> because I've got I've got family members who Good. They, they just are Ohio State and I don't care that Papa went to uh, Alabama. I don't care that my dad's from <laughs> Alabama. I'm, I live in Ohio State and I live in Ohio and I'm going to root for Ohio State first. And then there's other members of my family that are, you know, they say, you know, my dad uh, or my grandfather went to Alabama. I'm going to root for them. So, you know, the same discord exists within my own family. Well, I think just like with any like great legacy team, no one's an Alabama fan except an Alabama fan. <laughs> Good point. And, you know, I think it's pretty cool that uh, Alabama and Ohio State have this football rivalry. 
and I hope that it continues. It's good for the sport and it it's is. good for kids and, and it's good to see full stadiums of people that want to root on kids who are uh, trying to, to, to play hard and, and have worked hard to get on that field. Okay. Oh, one last question I want to know. Is this going to be reciprocal in Alabama? Do they do scholarships with their license plates like this? Are you going to talk to your colleagues down there about getting us one if we don't already have one? <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to check on that. I don't know whether they do or not. I'm going to follow I like up. Idea, and I think that uh, that's a very good question, and we need to see if we can make that happen. Just full of good questions. Hey, thank you so much, Representative Bird. I really appreciate it.